Okay, well, I'm going to start this off with a, kind of a boo-boo that I did the other day. I recorded a plum paper planner video and I could not get the whole planner in the shot. So I realized, like a doofus, that I did not have the tripod set up all the way, you know, as high as it could go. So I just realized that right now and I'm so mad because I filmed that whole video and, you know, not like it's that big of a deal or anything or it's going to be a highly viewed video. But, you know, when you do something, I guess sometimes you want to be kind of have a little bit of perfectionism going in you. So I'm, yeah, I'm just figuring this out now. I was like, hey, I didn't have the thing up all the way. So I can get the whole friggin' thing in the uh, shot. So just a little bit peeved about that right now, first thing. Okay, let me um, move this and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so basically this video is gonna be about how to quickly clean up a spare room, a craft room, uh, you know, your wax room, your kind of catch-all room. I don't know what I would call, I guess this is really our office, but I keep a lot of wax and now I guess, um, I keep a lot of stuff in here and I'll get into that when I get into the closet, but this is my desk. This is what happens when you film for two days of just hauls and other random things. So that's going to be a priority is getting all that stuff put away. And I need to, I usually block out, like I'll take a Sharpie and block out my name on any labels. I've tried peeling the labels off the boxes and shredding them, but it gums up the shredder. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just blacking out my name. I don't know. I have something weird about that. I just don't like to put my name in the tr an address in the trash. I don't know. So that's that over there. Um, I have some papers over there. I need to clean out the cat box. I don't know if you can see that. I've got some, I got a box and some of my sticker haul packages on the floor there that need to be marked out and thrown away. And then over here, I just need to clean that off. I have some rainbow melts I need to put away. This was, let's see if I can move there. Sorry. <laughs> This was a trying to de-stash box, but I need to kind of redo it. So I'm just trying to clean out some wax a little bit. So we'll just go over the, let's see, I've got that name showing here. Let me just hide that. Okay, so I have a huge stack of papers here. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's still kind of early. My daughter left a Frappuccino mug in here. I have a... What are those called? I'm like losing my, I can't think of the word. Microfiber cloth, there we go. The Tiffany's need to be put away. This I pulled out, I was going through and looking through some of my scents and seeing if there was, was anything that I didn't like anymore to put in the D-stash. This down here is a box for that I had done in my weekly wax picks that I need to find another container, a bigger container to put it in, or I can just leave it in the box, I'm not sure. I was gonna put in a small container store order. I needed a couple other things and maybe try to get a, a bin, one of those plastic bins to be able to distribute it out a little bit neater. So, and then down there underneath that blanket is an, actually an, a, her a hermit crab. It's my isolation tank. Uh, my crab decided to do a, it was molting and then it came up beneath the sand. If, if you don't know anything about crabs, you probably won't understand a word I'm saying. But when crabs are molting, they go underground and they basically grow while they're like, they kind of sleep, I guess. And he decided to come up mid-molt and the other crabs were attacking him. So I had to put him in his own little isolation tank. So I've got a cover on it to keep it dark so that he will continue molting. And he is actually, he's doing an above ground molt. It's very like odd looking. He takes off his whole skeleton and then he eats it. And anyways, it's just, it's complicated, but uh, that's what that is. <laughs> I don't know why I needed all that explanation, but whatever. So over here I have some, I was going through some candles from the keeping room samples to put in D, uh, some D-stash boxes and here is my Super Tarts bin. I, pull, I pulled it out to just smell some scents and make sure that, 
you know, I had everything in there that I was going to use up because I got in a big box. And if you see that Chrissy's remains right there, Angie, if Angie, if you're watching, uh, I'm going to bag those up. And as soon as you send me your address, I'm going to send those to you. So I need to get that in a bin, not a bin, a uh, shipping, a mailer for her so I can send that off. I need to dust my bookshelf and kind of clean it up. It's kind of turned messy. Those are my empties up there I, that also that I can finally throw away. So I just need to straighten up the bookshelf, make it look nicer. And then down here, I have some more wax. That bin that's in the very front, that one right there, I have had just random wax sitting in there thinking that I was going to melt it. So what I'm going to do today is actually put it back in the correct box so that way it's just not sitting in that bin. Obviously I need to dust and vacuum in here. It needs a... I feel like it needs a good cleaning. So, And then I feel like you can see the desk maybe a little bit better here. So this is... I need to also order something to put in our... Um, my daughter and I both got plum planners and so I want to get a like um what is it called i don't know why i have so much trouble with words what the hell a like a zip pouch something to protect the planner i found some online so i'm just going to order them there and we can just pick them up so i'm just going to do that so this is you know pretty much what happened over the last couple of days with hauling and stuff so i just need to put all that stuff away like I said, I need to clean the cab box and kind of vacuum. I always kind of pull it out and vacuum behind there and really get the uh, molding and stuff. So, and there is my sweet bandit who has decided to join us today. He was sick for like a day. We were going to take him to the vets, but then the next day he was fine. So, I don't know what was wrong with him. I think he just like ate, maybe ate something wrong or we're not really sure. But um, he was kind of sick, but now he's back to his normal self. Buddy, Bennett, look over here. That's a good boy, thank you. Okay, so let's have a look in the closet because I pretty much have, and I always have this set up the same way. I, I have Halloween cards that I should probably put up, but I didn't put out any Halloween decorations this year, so I'm kind of not into it. I don't know why. So anyway, so here is the closet. I don't know why it's so dark in there. I don't know, is that any better? Gosh, I don't know. Anyway, so you can tell I've got some wax going on in here. I need to pull those out really quick. My uh, mailers are just fine. There's, can you see that? And I sort of feel like you can see that better. So I already kind of have systems in place here. So I have the Scentsy Warmers at the top. I just keep some tissue paper for packaging if I need it. Some Scentsy Warmers are back there. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of dark. Even though there's a light on in here, I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why this is completely empty. I don't remember what I usually keep on that shelf, but something goes there. I just don't know what. I'm, I can probably find something to go there. I could take those Super Tarts BAM bars and find another spot for them just to make it look a little bit neater. And then down here I have some bins of Tiffany's candle, Tiffany candles, some Super Tarts, and some front porch I see. And then my mailer area is just fine, so I don't really need to clean that up. So I've already kind of got some stuff in place. Now some things that I need to t kind of take care of. Um, these boxes over here to the left are, they probably should be thrown away. We kind of were keeping them just in case we didn't, you know, we needed to return something or we didn't like, you know, one of the products that we bought. But I think we're okay now, so I might... I don't know, the juicer box I might keep, but everything else I might throw away. But I might find a new spot for it because I don't like it there. So Lush stuff is down here. I don't know if that's visible or not. Kind of dark. And then over here, really, I you know, it's just going to be putting stuff away. Like my bathing garden scrubs go down in that bin in the right-hand corner. Right there. And pretty much everything else. I might go through some of my craft supplies. I, we're going to try to have a garage sale, I think. Maybe in a couple weeks. My daughter's supposed to have one to try to raise money for her extracurricular activities that she did not tell us that were going to be more expensive than we thought. So I told her, you know what? You're going to put on a garage sale. So I don't know. 
this is my wax stuff, my wax collection, which is pretty much contained and organized and all that. So I could probably just go through those really quick and make them look a little bit nicer. And then I have this bin of my super tarts and sugar and spice, front porch, just a whole bunch. And then I keep extra these um, padded flat rate envelopes. And what else do I have over here? Oh, just some extra little envelopes. Mailing supplies. And like a scrapbook thing. Okay, so anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So the first Okay, so the first step I'm going to take is I'm going to go ahead and start shredding a little bit. My shredder is not the best of shredders. It it, uh, it stops like halfway through whatever you're shredding. So I can only shred like maybe, I don't know, five minutes at a time and then the shredder dies on me. It's a really crappy shredder. So I'm going to start shredding so that way I can kind of keep it going and do it, you know, whenever it stops, then I can do something else and then start again and all that. So also I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this desk area first. I don't know why here we go I don't know why I'm having such trouble so we're just gonna take care of everything on top of the desk and then over here as well so that will involve putting wax away and throwing boxes away and going through that paperwork so I also think I'm gonna go grab a trash bag and um, I'm gonna turn on some warmers I'm gonna pick a scent here and yeah I'm gonna pick a scent so I have one chunk of this strawberry mallow bread left. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. Um, it looks like a, I don't know, I could probably get an ounce um, if I cut it in half, an ounce in each warmer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get the room smelling good. That always helps. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and shred and I'll just kind of check in every couple minutes. So. You know, like I said, I already have systems in place. So if you're kind of doing a big project like this and you don't have systems in place yet, it's going to take you a lot longer. I don't expect it, this to take me longer than maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour. Well, a little bit longer because I'm filming. But yeah, it really shouldn't take me that long. I'll let you know my, my time when I come back. So um, yeah, I'm going to start on the desk here and I'll let you know how long that takes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I got all my new super tarts put away and it fits nicely in that bin perfectly actually. So I'm glad that I was able to de-stash a little bit so I had enough room for the new clamshells. So and then also what I did is I put the new scentless in this tin that I have. I don't know if you can see that. And then I put the lid on top and then I keep this on top of the bin in my closet. So that works out nicely so you can easily reference some of these scents. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I have this bin. Let me just grab it. I have this bin of samples that I have had for a while. I'm kind of going to go through and it's kind of what the wax community would call ass wax. I'm just going to say it. And so I'm probably just going to go through and anything I don't think that I'm going to use. I'm just going to throw away. I mean, it, they're just little sample sizes, so I don't think it really matters. But yeah, so I'm going to try, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get all of my candles from the keeping room samples into that bin so I can, they've kind of just been sitting in this little plastic bag forever. So I'm going to go through the samples really quick and um, see what I can toss because I don't need that. I don't, I mean, I always look through this little bin here and I never find anything that I want. So I need to go through and just get rid of some stuff. Okay, so I will be back. Okay, so this worked out perfectly. I was able to get my candles from the keeping room samples in this box and I was able to eliminate some things that just didn't smell like they were scented anymore. So that's kind of the thing about older wax. It does seem to lose some scent. I found some things in there that were not smelling like I couldn't get any smell off of at all so sometimes you just have to I didn't chuck that much just a little bit so anyways okay so I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna show you the progress of the table it's coming along here in just a minute okay see you guys in a sec okay so I was able to empty this wire well not it's not wire but it kind of looks like plastic wire plastic bin 
open air bin, whatever you want to call it. I was able to get my candles from the keeping room in there. And then over here, I was able to move the candles from the keeping room out of there and then be able to put more Haley's Heavenly Scents. And then I have also some Scentsy in there as well. So that is that and it can be put away. So the right hand side of the Okay, so the right hand side of the desk is cleared off. I just need to put the camera away and then obviously I still need to do the left hand side which are these papers. And then I just emptied all that wax from that one bin that I put the candles from the keeping room in over there. And then behind there is front porch that I need to put away. So I'll keep working from, I guess, right to left. So we'll just keep going. I did uh, shred so I'm ready to do some more shredding now. So. Here I go. Okay, so here's where I'm currently at. I emptied my wax empties bin there. I kind of cleaned up the bookshelf just to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing. My shredding is done, but the shredder kind of broke on me, so I need to wait for my husband to fix it. So I just put the remaining shredding items into the Sephora bag, and when it's working again, I'll just shred the rest. But I got quite a bit shredded anyways. So the desk is all cleared off. I dusted it. It, I have pictures that go right there and right there, but I took them down, you know, for obvious reasons. And so here I am. I'm still, I need to come around here. And all I really need to do here is put the rainbow melt spot box away, go through that wax on the table there, and then dust. And then I can move on to this, <laughs> which hopefully won't take too long because it's mostly just stuff that needs to be put somewhere um, back in its place or back in its home or whatever. So yeah, not doing too bad. Um, I'm probably not going to pull things out. Like I said, I was going to go through craft supplies and stuff. It's really hot in here today. I don't know why that we get a lot of sunlight in this room and I'm kind of burning up. So I'm probably just going to, you know, clean up and put things where they belong, but I'm not going to pull anything out right now. So sometimes, you know, you just got to go with the flow and how your day is going and just try to get as much done as you can. So that's what's going to happen. So just again, I'm going to start working on that. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I got the thing cleared off. So and I got everything, you know, I didn't put anything anywhere else. You know, everything went in a spot. So, okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, hey guys, so I am just about done here. I'm going to go jump in the shower because I'm sweating and it's super hot in this room. Like I said, it gets a lot of sunlight and I'm just, I need a shower. So... I kind of just tidied this up here. Those are stickers on the left hand side of that bin there. I, those are the Etsy sticker haul, um, the Etsy sticker haul that I filmed the other day. So, and then, so I still need to distribute those to their respective rooms from my wax picks video that I did. I did find another bin to put some of the kitchen items in. Is this clear bin from the container store? I think it's called the Linus plastic bin. It's very sturdy. It's like some thick plastic. Okay, so over here, I have started a bathing garden D stash. It's not going to go in that box. It can go in a regional rate A, but that's the only box I have taped up. I'm out of shipping tape at the moment, so there's that. I got this cleaned up. And let's see, let's just move around the room. Still need to empty the cat box. I'll do that later. And I got the desk cleaned off. Still need to work on this area right here, but that's my big bag of trash. So I need to go through those papers and see what's in there. And let's just move over here really quick because I was able to clean up the closet a little bit. So that's what the closet looks like right now. Let me see if I can straighten up. So that's mostly my Lush collection right there which I'm trying to trim down as well because I find that I like the shower products but not the bath products so much. So, yeah, I'm just trying to uh, minimize since, I, I, I don't know, I just, I don't want to take baths anymore. I'm not sure. I'm just more of a shower person. So I was able to clean this up. So this package right here is for Angie that's going to her. So I set that there and started to get it set up. The bin there is samples, and then I've got the green stuff is, um, the green stuff back there is bubble wrap. And then you can see the bin of the candles from the keeping room, some band bars, some 
printer paper and some bubble wrap that I keep. And then I was able just to kind of straighten these out a little bit. And then you saw this earlier. So I just keep this on top of my mailing boxes and this little stand that I've talked about in a vlog before. So, and then over here, again, I just straightened out some of these bins a little bit, like the ones I got into, like the bathing garden. Where'd you go? Bathing garden I straightened up and rainbow melts. So, and then I just... Um, Went through some papers in the file folder there. Oh, my nail's chipping already, damn it. That's it, so now all I need to do is just clean the cat box, finish the desk, and vacuum, and then I'll be done. So one thing I can say from all this is it's better just to keep up with stuff rather than, you know, letting it pile up and accumulate, because this is taking me a little bit longer. Where's my phone? It is. It's 1.30, so, and I think I started this about 11.30, so, yeah, it's taking me a little bit. But, I mean, now all I have to do is just vacuum, and then I will be done. So, yeah, that's just kind of, um, I hope this kind of helped a little bit. So, I'll check back in in a few after I have vacuumed. I'm going to do a pretty thorough vacuum and kind of hit the baseboards and, um, See if I see any cobwebs up in the corners. Um, I know those cobwebs like to accumulate up there. I don't see any right now, but you never know. So, yeah. So basically, I would just say, you know, make sure you have systems in place. It makes things a lot easier. I mean, if I didn't have, like, my wax set up a certain way or my, um, my files, you know, my, my paper things, you know, things could get a bit messy. So... Anyways, I am going to jump in the shower and since I'm hot, I need to cool down and then I'll be back to finish. Okay. All right, so here is Tinkerbell and she is, she was actually inside that bin. I wanted to vacuum the top of that because it's covered in cat hair, but it looks like she's comfy there and I'm not gonna move her. So she was inside the box and I think she just got too hot. So she decided to come out and say, hey, so I thought I'd show you her. So I am done. A couple things that I did want to say. It really makes things a lot easier if, well for me, if you make YouTube videos and you get boxes in and you kind of hold off to make a haul for them, you kind of start accumulating a lot of boxes. So one thing I probably should be a little bit better about is trying to do, uh, if I'm going to film a haul, is to try to do it sooner versus later instead of letting it all stack up. Because then you have to put a lot away. It would just be easier if I could put the stuff away like in, within a day or two days. So that's going to be kind of a goal of mine is to try to... Well, and the other thing is I'm not really expecting any wax... Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any wax outstanding wax orders out. The last one I did is the last one for a while. So that is good. So I don't have... Yeah, I don't think I have anything... Yeah, for the first time ever, I don't have any outstanding wax hauls, so that's kind of cool. So I have Rose Girl Strawberry Nilla, let's see, what is it called? Strawberry, oh, Strawberry Mallow Bread, and it is smelling delicious. I have it in this warmer over here. If I can zoom in a little bit, it's melting down. I don't know why it gets so dark right there. Uh, we've kind of had sun and then some overcast, it rained. And then I have... It in over here so it's melting down it's already starting to smell really good okay so everything's been vacuumed the cat box finally got cleaned let me zoom back out and this got all cleaned off um, as you can see I've got some washi tape there I need to I need to figure out how I'm gonna store planner stuff I don't know how yet so probably in just you know a regular bin I, I, there's no I don't see any need for like a special at least not right now, any kind of special bin or file folder, or I don't know. So we'll figure that out. So I got that all cleared off. There's my jacket from earlier, but it got too hot. Kitter, bo um, kitter box. <laughs> Litter box got cleaned out. I vacuumed the windows like inside. There was a spider web in there, so I had to... I could have just left it for Halloween. Could have been a Halloween decoration. Over there, that box is just... A bathing garden de-stash I'm putting together 
And so I, I just need to put the pictures back, my the pictures that I keep on the shelf here, and I need to distribute these wax bins somewhere. So I cleaned out this bin here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it behind the stool there. That's the other bin that I need to do something with. But you know what? I'm tired, and it's okay if you get tired to just... I'm going to stick it back in front of the cat. Do like uh, Sophia for my random favorite things. Give you something to look at that's somewhat interesting. Um, why is my camera? Camera doesn't want to behave. So... Basically, I would just say not to tire yourself out because if you get tired and you get frustrated, then you're not going to want to come back in and do more later, which I kind of, there's a few things that I probably could still do in here, but I'm tired. It's almost time for my daughter to get picked up from school. And yeah, I'm just done. It's hot in here. For, like today, I don't know why today of all days it had to be like 80 degrees. Like yesterday it was like 40 something or 50. I don't know. But it was not as hot so I'm happy with how everything turned out I threw away some wax some older wax that I'm just never going to melt which was good that made me feel good to get rid of some stuff and knowing that I don't have any more wax coming in kind of feels good because uh, honestly I'm kind of at max capacity so yeah so I'm pretty happy just you know if, if you're taking on a bigger project than what I had I would just say you know just do what you can a little bit at a time because it can get overwhelming I was overwhelmed with everything on my desk there and that wasn't even that bad so anyways I guess I'll just end it right here I don't really have anything else I think I need to say but yeah so I vacuumed and oh I did dust I dusted everywhere it's usually a quick dust around here you can also take your vacuum attachment and there's an attachment that is like a duster attachment and you can just dust with that and that saves hair going everywhere. Uh, I have a shark vacuum that has that attachment. I love my shark. I highly recommend the shark all the time. That's It's like my favorite vacuum of all times and we've been through a few vacuums. We have been through, I don't know, the problem is, is that they would just start to stink like because we have a dog and a cat. So the dog hair would get caught up in there. And even though we would clean out the canister, it just would start to stink. So every time you vacuum, you just get this stench. So, yeah. Um, and finally, the shark, it does not stink at all. So I don't, I don't know. I guess Tinky's going to go, she's going to go look outside. What is she doing? She found something. We have chipmunks that kind of run around here. So maybe she's on into a chipmunk or a bird. But anyways, okay, so I hope this was somewhat helpful or, you know, gave you some ideas. I don't know. Just kind of a random, just kind of a random video. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.